All right. We are back. It is October 16th, 2012. I am Man Slave, and this guy is... Disposable Human Doing. Uh, we are the duo that is uh, the, uh, the force behind the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. And we are watching Dr. Claw uh, from, <laughs> from Inspector Gadget. Um, or you can call her Cobra Commander, Skeletor, uh, Shredder, who, whatever cartoon character. Villain. Yeah, because you can't take her seriously. I mean, anybody who believes that 99% of all males, all men, boys, so on, need to die for the for the long term solution of peace and prosperity for the planet. Um, as we uh, did a review. Um, and in a uh, commentary and analysis um, what, last week or whatever, <coughs> uh, still in October, and we were watching this video, and what's the title of this one? Um, a man may be a misogynist if uh, a comprehensive list. And we are about halfway through this video, and... <laughs> Oh my gosh. And can you believe this person here, the Femetheist, or the Overseer, as she describes herself? We just call her Dr. Claw. Um, can you believe she tells me through, like, private messages on YouTube that she despises Anita Sarkeesian? Now, we, we personally don't really, you know, me and him, we don't really like Anita Sarkeesian. We, we think she'd kind of be cool. If she wasn't such a fucking hate monger and bigot and cooked up all these fucking conspiracy theories all the time, I mean, we think it's cool that somebody makes videos as good as hers. Yeah, I mean, um, she's got a good presentation. I mean, she does. She spreads too much <coughs> hate in her videos. I mean, she's got the 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 quality of her videos are very well produced. And, and why can't she do uh, why can't she do Miss Andrew video games too? I mean, just why can't she just review? Or design yeah, concepts yeah, or of video review, games. Review a game in general, or talk about a game, and, or, you know, something. And, yeah, and then talk about how the game was made, and what kind of ideas the designers had. Well, she can't comprehend that stuff, though. And, uh, yeah, because she doesn't write any lines of code, like I've wrote a little bit. Um, but, um, I'm not some hotshot programmer. I've just done a little bit of coding, just, you know. And, uh, I, I study computer science and all that, because I think it's fascinating. But anyway, uh, I mean, you know, if she would just review movies and games and talk about this and that and make her videos, it'd be great because her videos do look like, like they're very well made and that sort of thing. But she's a fucking bigot and, oh my gosh, when she gets up on there on her videos and says that women are oppressed in every facet of their daily lives. Yeah, she's a bigot and that's well I stand. And... Just, and, and yet this girl here, the Femetheus, claims to despise Anita Sarkeesian, who is also a fellow feminist, poop mouth, gynocentric, hate mongering bigot, uh, who spews conspiracy theories and hate. And it is hate, because I'll tell you what, if, if it's regarded as hate to make a sandwich comment toward women, then it better fucking be regarded as hate. To say that the male gender needs to be exterminated. I mean... The good of mankind. <clears throat> well, sorry, the good of the planet. Yeah, big, I mean, damn. I mean, yeah, Hitler killed six million Jews and a couple million other people. And he's regarded as the benchmark of evil by the History Channel and some other entities and all that. Yet this fucking poop mouth... She, ha she hasn't killed anybody that we know of. But... She has aspirations to exterminate... 99% of the male population, as she has said in her other video, um, and, and she, yet yeah, she says that she doesn't hate men. Maybe she doesn't know what hate is, or maybe she does and just doesn't yeah. care. I mean, really, because she is, in this video, well, I mean, she's not being Sandra because Sandra doesn't exist, remember? The overseer told me that. <coughs> but, I mean, in her videos, she says that a man may be a misogynist, which is a woman hater, if he, all this other criteria, so you see all this fucking petty, ridiculous bullshit qualifies as hate, you know, the most ridiculous shit, 
yet somehow wanting to exterminate 99% of the male population, she considers it not to be hate. So uh, continue on with this poop mouth bigot and her conspiracy theory dumbassery. He is cruel to animals, he has a dubious personality, he exhibits supercilious behavior, meaning he is boastful, controlling, or narcissistic. He is oh, preoccupied wow. with sexual activity or sexual inferences and is sexually controlling. He must have his way, he must always win, and... Now wait, this, these videos are, she's describing herself, right? That's what these well, yeah, are. yeah, but like, she says it, that she's describing men. Oh, oh, okay, so... But maybe she just, like, maybe she got the, the, the videos mixed up. Like, maybe she meant to, she might have typed the wrong, you know, title for this video. Maybe it was supposed to be something else. Because, uh, I mean, it sounds, it sounds like she's describing, you know, herself. Now, yeah, uh, she's projecting. And now the whole sexual dominance thing. Uh, did your former owner do anything like that to you? What do you mean? Sexually dominating you. I mean, like, this poop man I was talking about. Because my former owner, you know, did some shit to me. I don't know, a couple of times I was expected to make a booty call for, you know, I was supposed to go give, you know, some dick to my former owner, like, at her convenience, even if it wasn't convenient for me. Like, for instance, I have to get up at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm not allowed to leave the house, and I'm expected to anyway, like, to sneak out of a second story window, but there's no, you know, easy way to even get out, you know, and, and I'm supposed to, like, you know, just go do it, just because. I remember the time. I was expected to actually do that the night before she broke up with me. Maybe, maybe, you know. Well, I should have just done it. Maybe she would still be with me, man. It's like, <laughs> no. Because it wouldn't. It would just be, you know, oh, well, I got some more, you know. But, like, I was, you know, it's just like, I was expected to do that. I was, that was about maybe one of the only things I could think of. Like, I was expected to do that a couple times. Uh, and, I mean,. Other than that, that's uh, that's the only example I can think of. Well, me. how about the times I wanted to get sleep because I had to get up and work the next day, and my former owner gets on top of me while I'm trying to sleep. Oh, and I'm just expected to deal with it. Uh, let's see. Oh, how about the times when I used to, about a year ago, in October, November, uh, September through um, November, uh... <clears throat> And how about the time um, in, uh, you know, late September when, uh, you know, I felt like coming home from work, getting drunk and playing and doing my drunk driving on the couch, playing Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo, and, you know, listen to 80s music and, like, just have fun. Oh, well, you know, my former owner knows that I get very, you know, suggestible whenever I'm under the influence of alcohol. And, uh, she, uh, decides she wants some dick. Well, what happens is, like, you know, has me, she has me come to the bedroom with her, um, where, uh, she gets on top of me and has sex with me when I'm drunk, and I really don't like having sex when I'm drunk because I get motion sickness. Um, it's better off when I'm completely sober, but no, no, made, she made sure I was drunk. Uh, and all that, and um, that's what made playing Mario Kart and listening to 80s music so actually fun. Uh, you, you remember that, right? And so anyway, yeah, okay, so uh, my former owner, uh, who was a girl, uh, expected me to, um, like, have sex with her when I was drunk. Of course, sometimes she got drunk too, and we were both drunk, uh, but in these cases, I was drunk and that sort of thing. And, uh, pff, let's not go into the details of how she tested, you know, whether or not she still had feelings for me uh, by, um, you know, having her friend come over and, <clears throat> uh, right before I got off work and have her friend come over here. Uh, and then my former owner got both me and, you know, this girl drunk and had, well, Let's just say um, it was an experiment that my former owner did to <laughs> test whether or not she would get jealous. <laughs> if, <laughs> I mean, it was pretty messed up, wasn't it? Pretty jacked up. I mean, like, and here I come home from work and I see somebody in here, you know, like, that I don't know. And I'm like, I, I'm just like, I'm curious and I'm quiet and I'm like, 
try to ignore the person and all that and like because you know that was her friends and that was her well you know so I let her go off and do whatever and then oh my oh my gosh and like you're pretty sure that like that this person was like not the type I was interested in it, right yeah I mean she was kind of yeah and that's why my former owner made sure that me and this girl was drunk and all that I mean all kind of shit well I mentioned in the last video how my former owner like tried to um, make me jealous and try to make me kick this guy out um, because I was expected to catch them sleeping together or whatever uh, on my floor in this apartment and you know what that resulted in no Jeff? Mm -hmm. They got her kicked out, not the dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, because for months, for more than half, for at least half the relationship, gosh, more than a, it must have been a year, whatever, all I heard about is men cheat. Men need to come straight home from work so they don't cheat. Man, you can't trust a man. All they do is want to fuck something. Man. But who goes around fucking things all the time? Women? Yeah. And, and if you have a problem with it, oh, you're an evil, controlling, manipulative asshole. You're a woman hater. Man. Fuck. I mean, this is just dumb shit. How much we got? 17. Okay, There's no alternatives to his way. He is overly competitive. He, as a child, enjoyed playing with fire beyond the realm of simple curiosity. He uh, was or is involved in a violent sport. Why does, I mean, what does that even come into play for misogyny? If you're a pyromaniac, you're a misogynist, like, how is that even on the list? I mean, I don't understand. I mean, yeah. Don't try to use logic. You'll just stress your brain out. You're right. Trying to, you're trying right. To be but, down to the I just, I just have to. This is so fucking stupid. I just have to say something. Like, I mean, I just don't. I mean, well, that's just. So, yeah. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not good to be a pyromaniac. But does it really just affect women? Apparently. I mean. Yeah. How does it relate to women? I don't really see. I, I mean. How does it make you a misogynist? Were you gonna burn all the the feminists or something? Like I don't get it. It's it's literally it's literally no more dangerous to women than it is to anyone else or anything else. I mean, it's definitely more dangerous to the person doing it than it is to you. What? Well, uh, she probably did some fucked up pyromaniac and tried setting on fire or some shit. He comes across too aggressively and is overbearing. He believes women exist only to serve and be obedient. Just like uh, how you portray men as being, because according to your own flawed, may I say, plan, I mean, you expect, you know, this one to five, basically one, we're going to go with five percent, because one to ten percent, we'll just go in the middle, five percent of men left on the planet and the full one hundred percent of women left on the planet Apparently, 5% of men are going to provide for all of these other, you know, women. So, um, would you, would you say that that would maybe be, um, no, no, I mean, what do you think? I mean, no. The salary right. don't exist. Exactly. It, it, I mean, how dare us try to understand what really goes on? Yeah, I mean... Because to me that sounds like these men that are, are going to be left are disposable and the only reason they exist is to make life easier for these lazy fucking poop mouths. I mean, I mean, the least you can do, the least you can do is say let's get rid of all men, and then you would be left with your own fucking bullshit, and you would be expected, you and all your women would be expected to keep the world afloat off of your own hard work, which is an oxymoron because obviously we we all know that you don't do work. And you know what? Okay, she she stated it right here. Believing that someone exists to serve you is what a, a, a you know person consumed with hatred does. Women women are man haters. Please, he is a habitual liar and constantly victimizes himself by twisting facts. Oh, so he acts just like you? Yeah, I was about to say, thanks for giving us, like, like, literally, that dude, I think, I think that you were making the wrong video and you mistitled it. You gave it the wrong title. Because this is talking about you and your gender. I mean, self-victimizing? Self-hatred? 
Women are oppressed in every aspect yeah, of their daily lives. Man. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds exactly like your gender. I mean, maybe she was making this, like, analyzing women, and she accidentally, like, maybe she just got mixed up. Well, it shows that, like, dissociated personality disorder, you know, multiple right, personalities right. and all that. Yeah, she doesn't even realize that she's talking about herself. Like, she I mean, thinks... Once again, she thinks she's Tyler Durden. Yeah. <laughs> He refuses to take responsibility for anything. Hmm. Oh, she yeah, went there. Take responsibility for anything. Huh. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I wonder where I've witnessed that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm witnessing it right now. I mean, the fact that you can just, you know, blame literally every societal problem on men. I, I would, you know, I don't think it's stretch it too far to say that, uh, you're doing the exact same goddamn thing by saying that, you know, like, oh, well... See, the, w feminists, they simply project their own inner turmoil, turmoil onto men to be reflected back at them as what they see. It's exactly what they do. Because I've noticed that all the negative things they describe men are actually things these women end up doing. Yeah, I mean, seriously... God damn. Blame circumstances, things, yeah, and more right, other, yeah. and constantly victimizes himself by twisting facts. He refuses to take responsibility for anything and blames circumstances, things, and or others for his actions and behaviors. He is rough with you at times, shoves you, twists your arm, grabs you, and or pulls you. Maybe because he's following orders from you when you're in the bedroom with him. You ever thought about yeah, that? what about all these, uh... Literally, what video was it where, you know, women like rape play, mama. It's like, it's clearly a pretty fucking common thing. You know, you hear him bragging about, well, we like rape play, but we don't like rape. How do you even distinguish it? I mean, really. Okay, my former owner was into some of the rough stuff. I've had a bitch fucking tell me to choke her before. Yeah. Yeah, my former owner. Uh, yeah, how would you like being told? to fucking slam somebody up against the wall because it turns them on. I mean, like, damn. It just... And, and, and to do that, like, to, to actually go through with that and to do that to a 200-pound woman, and, I mean, I really didn't want to do it because, like, first of all, it's just a lack of interest. I don't see how it's somehow appealing. Another thing is, I mean, I gotta look over my shoulder all the time because I'm a man. And if I'm even suspected of, of like, doing something that harms a woman, uh, my ass can go to jail if it's pressed, okay? My former owner, for some reason, she liked to be choked, uh, but also bitten, uh, which is weird. And, um, and she never really made me do a whole lot of rough stuff, but she had me experiment and all this, and it just... I mean, I, I thought it was weird. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just like... I'm but like, you were how expecting to put up with it and do it, right? In order to... In order to make, yeah, in order to turn her on or Yeah, I mean, whatever. you couldn't just be like, no, I don't, I'm not really comfortable with that. Because then... Damn. I mean... You got to understand to differentiate between what women say they want and what women actually want. Or the way women portray themselves and then the way they really act. You got to understand why they do it. It's simple. It's about dignity. They know that the societal norms are a certain way. Whatever they are, they, they, they have a certain structure to them. Regardless of what you know, what country you live in. There's a certain, you know, code of conduct about things. Okay. Now, if women just outright, flat right, I mean, just flat out said what they wanted, they would be viewed as somebody that's fucked up. Because mm -hmm. okay. they want but, one thing. Yes, but it also, goes against, it also goes against the societal norms, and they don't want to be perceived as that. Uh, so then they'll pretend to go along with the norms, and they'll uh, and then they'll basically pretend to criticize the very thing that they are interested in, so that the microscope of public scrutiny will not be not focused bad. upon them. Exactly. 
He is nice to others, but treats you poorly and shows you no respect. He still. Why, why would he not show her any respect? I mean, damn. And for two, why would you even view someone like that? Yet they all are. Exactly. You need to fucking take some responsibility yeah, for seriously. your fucking actions, Prometheus. Yeah, I mean, really, a good amount of, like, for, let me just, I'm not going to say good amount of women that I've met, but let's just say, working at Wendy's. You know how much shit I had to put like this? It's like, if you want them to fucking act the opposite of what they act now, then why are you even with them? I mean, obviously you must fucking like it, because otherwise, you wouldn't be with them. Take some fucking responsibility. It's like, you know, I, I know it's probably hard for you to actually analyze the situation, look at it, and like actually think, you know, logically about, hmm, maybe if I wanted to act the opposite of what he's acting, I shouldn't be with a person who acts this way. Like, why would you fucking do that? Like, and if you're going to do it, then don't bitch about it. But they love the drama because they love the attention. They love the they like the It makes them feel validated and it makes them feel important. Like Barbarossa would say, a, it makes them feel inherently valuable and therefore a valuable object must be protected. From others, cheats people, uses people, basically meaning that he's the kind of guy who will borrow from you but never repay. He, is so, he steals from a wow. shoves you, twists your arm, grabs you, and or pulls you. He is nice to others, but treats you poorly and shows you no respect. He steals from others, cheats people, uses people, basically. Uses people? Hmm, that's Because that's what my former owner did to me. Yeah, and, you know and every she boyfriend you, she had. And you know what else she did to you? And what my former owner did to me was uh, borrow things and never pay them back. Oh, because her vagina seems to mm. be some, you know, important. It's like, it, not only does this vagina need dick, and it also needs food and dinners and, you know, it needs, like, some and paint you, and yeah. paint to make it look appealing. Yeah, and, like, it needs, you know, it needs to be constantly entertained and it needs money to buy all the stuff it needs. I mean, it, and it needs high speed internet so it can be yep. on Farmville. Yep. And then it needs you to go buy video games for it so it can sit on its ass and, and complain about how boring life is. Yep, and especially it needs cigarettes. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh my especially gosh. On, uh, it, especially with mine, yeah. It needs cigarettes. My former owner, I mean... But I guess, you know, it's equal that, right? I get some vagina every once in a while and she gets like all this other stuff. That's equal, right? <laughs> it's like, here, here you go, just pack of cigarettes and you're like... I mean, I wish there was a pricing system on vagina. Because it literally, like, it, oh, would, it, not, is it would not be your life. Oh, I know that, but, like, literally, can you imagine if they had to pay you back for every, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I got all this stuff now. It's like, oh, I can have sex with you? Well, it better be the best goddamn sex ever, because I just spent, like, $300. And, you know, I actually saw a shirt. I was at Spencer's the other day. I saw a really good shirt, and I was thinking about buying it, but I didn't, because I had money, but, um, it was a shirt. It said, Pussy, the most expensive meal you'll ever eat in your life. Yeah. Um... We got we got like a minute um minute or, minute and a half left so let's finish this up. Uh, uh. Meaning that he's the kind of guy who will borrow from you but never repay. He asserts that he is religious or spiritual oh, and then attacks your own beliefs. He gives gifts and then demands favors or unending and excessive praise. He makes insensitive jokes and degrades women in front of you and then penalizes you for being upset or offended. He seeks pity from others and or convinces you to feel sorry for him for the hardships he's had to endure. He constantly... Oh my fucking gosh, like, she went honey, there. Honey, I got my arm blown off in Iraq and it really fucking sucks. It's like, well, you expect me to feel sorry for you? I had to pop a kid out! <laughs> fucking bitch. Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. That's how fucking petty women are. And see, a lot. You'd be surprised how many women are a lot like her, at least in the head. The, di the difference between those and her is that she is open and honest about it and puts it all up on YouTube and yep. straight up tell you she's, yep. you know. At least, you, at least you're honest, Dr. Clark. Or obsessively derides your family and friends and tries to keep you away from them by forcing you to account for anything and everything you do with your time. He is impatient and. Oh! A guy makes a woman account for everything she does with her time? No, because that's what my former owner did with me. Uh, did yours do that? No, that was one of the only things. It's like, I didn't. I, I didn't. 
fucking, basically I treat her the way I want to treat because she didn't tell me that I had to do certain things and I didn't tell her either, but, you know, oh well, because apparently, you know, apparently she tried cheating on, how, how sad, she tried to cheat on me and couldn't even succeed at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Alright. It's like, wow. I bet that was a big blow to his self-esteem. When he gets upset, he destroys property, which is usually going to be yours. He is excessively dramatic and throws a tantrum when he doesn't get what he wants. And finally, he tells you everything to do, what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. If any of you out there have a man that falls under four or five at least of these things on this list, he could potentially be a misogynist. So keep an eye on your guy and see if any of these things apply to him. As always, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned and be aware. She blew a kiss like she's important. Alright, uh, that's the end of that video. Oh my gosh, they just... Just because women don't go out there and say that they're this way, like she is, uh, the way this poop mouth is, it doesn't mean that they're not like that. See, we don't actually hate women. We wish that we could have a meaningful life with them, but they make it so freaking impossible. I mean, all we're doing is distrusting them the way they've done to us for so many years. And that's a fucking don't let, don't let make you, Yeah, it's like, don't let it make you feel guilty. And just... And if we're woman haters, then why are we not calling for the extermination of the female gender? Why do we just prefer why are we, to not be around them? Yeah, know? why are we content... To even ex you know, we're content to exist as it is now. Even live like and let live. Yeah, live and like, let live. It, it's really shitty, but we, you know we don't want them wiped out. And the most we ask for is equality, but that's apparently too much to ask. Oh, well, well, that's, that's, that's worse than you know. That's worse than that's worse than being exterminated. Mm -hmm. We'd probably rather be exterminated than have equality. Yeah, because they'd be out of their misery, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how much time we got in here. All right, we got one minute. All right. That's it for this video uh, where we're watching Dr. Claw and her videos. I'm Manslave, and this guy here is... The Despairful Human Doing. And we are the duo of the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. So until next time... Pet some beats. You need to go pet something.